Have you ever heard of the Ed, Ed, and Eddie theory? The theory suggests that all the kids in the neighborhood are dead and all their adventures are taking place in purgatory. Evidence that supports this theory is because the kids have blue or green tongues, which is evident in corpses. In earlier seasons, the children experience an endless summer, which suggests that time no longer exists. The reason they never leave the cul-de-sac is because they can't. They are stuck souls forced to live out eternity in the neighborhood they died in. According to the theory, the children all come from different eras between the 1900s and 2000s. Rolf is the eldest of the bunch and died in 1903 after being trampeded by his family's farm animals. Johnny died in 1922 from tuberculosis. His wooden friend Plank was created as a result of his loneliness and he took Plank into the afterlife since it was the last thing he saw before he died. Eddie moved from New York to the neighborhood during the Great Depression and would scam the neighborhood kids to earn money. Eventually, the children caught onto his tricks and chased him down. To escape, Eddie jumped into a lake and drowned. Even in purgatory, Eddie is still chasing the idea of wealth and money and continues his scams even after death. Ed and Sarah moved into the neighborhood next after their father died in World War II. When their heartbroken mother becomes distant and neglectful, they each find their own ways of coping. Sarah takes on the parental role while Ed gets lost in his own imagination through comic books. They both passed away in a car accident in 1953. Naz came from a hippie family in the 1960s. Unfortunately, her life was short-lived after her and her entire family were murdered in 1979 by a serial killer who escaped from a nearby asylum. Double D originates from the 70s and came from a strict household where he was raised to strive for perfection in every aspect of his life. Being so worked up and determined to become the best son he could be, he spent extra time on schoolwork and did not notice the gas leak coming from his chemistry set, which eventually exploded and resulted in his death. Kevin came from the 80s. His bullying persona was a result of the abuse he faced from his father, who beat him to death in the winter of 1999. Even though his dad was sentenced to life imprisonment for his son's murder, Kevin imagines his dad as the complete opposite. While in purgatory, he is loved by the very man who ended his life. Jimmy is the youngest of the group, originating from the 90s. Because he suffered from leukemia, he wasn't allowed to hang out with the other children in fear that he would wind up hurt. Eventually, he died from his illness. The Cankers are said to be demons sent to purgatory to torture the souls of the children. Their attraction to the Eds is because they have the weakest will and they each represent a deadly sin. Even though there is some evidence supporting this theory, there is more going against it. For instance, the reason for the children's green tongues is due to the candy they eat, with particular reference to jawbreakers and their vast array of colors. The time period is made to be ambiguous, but by closely examining certain background elements, such as magazines and product boxes, viewers can easily identify the era as taking place sometime during the 90s.